have with the crew. So uh, my teammate had really helped me out. She went to the front, slowed it down a little bit, so I could gradually catch up. <laughs> but uh, it's it's crazy. Like I grew, <laughs> I grew up in like, growing up, I never ever thought I'd be an Olympian. That doesn't seem real. Like that's that's what like crazy famous people do. I don't know. It's it's unbelievable. It's crazy. What uh, talk about what happened with your shoe? It came off again. <sighs> it the first in the first mile, it was untied. Um, it, it came untied probably three or four laps in, and I look at I, I freaked out. I was like, Oh, what do I do? What do I do? So I turned to Schlein. Luckily, I have Schlein, who's incredibly experienced, knew what she was doing. She's like, Lisa, you got to tie it. I'm gonna go to the front. I'm gonna slow it down for you. So I'm like, Okay. So I try to keep like try to stay calm, move over to the side, tie my shoe. So you literally pit stop like a race car driver to fix I, your yeah, tire. Yeah, I literally pull off the side, tie my shoe. And I was probably maybe 50 to 75 meters behind the field by the time I got it tied and back in. Um, so I tried to not try to catch them like right away, but give myself, you know, a few laps to gradually catch back up to the field. And then I did that, and obviously when I was tying it that second time, I didn't do a very good job because my hands were like shaking. I was so scared. I was like, oh, what's, what's going to happen? And I didn't do a very good job, so then the last six laps of the race, I ran with my right shoe untied. So I was like, at this point, it came untied again with six laps ago. I was like, at this point, I don't have time to stop and tie it again. So if it falls off, it falls off. So you stopped twice to tie No, I only oh, stopped okay. once, but it came untied with six laps to go, and I just ran with it untied. That must give you confidence if you can actually stop and still make an Olympic team. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I am in so much debt to Schlein, my teammate. She, she really helped keep me relaxed. She brought the race down a little bit so that I had time to catch back up to the field. But um, it was it was a really really ugly way to make an Olympic team and very very stressful. I think I lost years of my life tonight because of that. <laughs> Lisa, can you talk about last year? You, you were dealing with a lot of injuries, and it seems like you know this going into the spring, you were starting to figure things out. Talk about that process. Yeah, last year when I was here, I was in a boot. Um, so when I was here for USA's, I was in a boot. I had a stress fracture. Um, it was a long fall, honestly. It wasn't like things clicked again right away once I got um, once I got healthy again. It took a long time. And indoors, you know, I kept running these three Ks, trying to PR, and it just wasn't going very well. And I think I finally really have hit a stride. And I think I think if things would have gone a little differently tonight, um, I would have had more of a shot at the end. I think I just used up so much adrenaline trying to make sure that I was just gonna make that team. Um, so yeah, it's been a long road since last year, but um, I'll take all of the heartache and all the struggles that I had last year for this moment right now. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks. Thanks.